Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. On this channel, we travel road trip style around the country, stop and eat and take you along with us. Today we are in Beaumont, California. That's just a little bit east of Los Angeles. We're at In-N-Out. You guys have probably heard of In-N-Out, but if you haven't, this is like a California institution. It's been around since 1948. Everybody loves In-N-Out, right? Well, let's see, let's go. The Beaumont location is like a suburb, and so it's probably explains why there wasn't a huge line. That's usually what our experience has been, and it's really clean. Look how many employees work here. That's actually been consistent. You go to a In-N-Out Burger, there's tons of people working. In fact, the dining room host even brought us our food, which I thought was pretty amazing. This looks great. Now, the menu for this place is super simple. There's um, just a few different ways that you can order from that menu, but there's also what they call a secret menu, and we're gonna link that in the description for this video. Um, a lot of people are familiar with it, but if you're not, uh, one of the things we decided to do today is called animalize. So as we're talking about things, we'll say they're animalized. It means this. It's just a way to kind of make something have a little bit more flavor, texture, or deliciousness like these french fries. It's just relish, right? Relish and then Oh, like look at all that cheese. Cheese. That's that's grilled onions and then there's cheese too all over it and then some kind of the dressing there. Now they also brought me something. He goes, "How much spread do you want?" And I'm like, "Spread? I don't even know what spread is, but that might be what's on." Yeah. Oh yeah. My fries That's is the goat. spread. Oh. oh. Then you can take it home and animal. Okay, okay. why don't I dig into one of these? Now, I definitely need a fork for these french fries because we did the animal style. Mm. They're good. I don't know if the toppings kind of make them a little soggy, but... Um, it's really hard for me to say with anything, any at any point, any time with any French fry that I don't like it because I love. You pretty much love them all. I do love them. All. I do love them all. So I'm going to start off by saying no, they do not have beer here, but they do have a lot of fountain drinks. Um, so I guess we'll have to drink beer later. But this is probably one of their more famous hamburgers. This one is called a double double, which means it's got double meat, double cheese, and it comes with like pickles and tomatoes. And the really cool thing is they'll grill your onions here at no additional charge. Just, a lot of times they'll ask you, you want them grilled? Which I go, yes I do. Now I animalize my burger, so they put all that goo on top of that also. And you can actually get a three by three and a four by four, I mean, They'll do it all. Does for that you. mean four patties? Four patties, Good four boy. pieces of cheese. Yeah, it's. This isn't really a heart attack, but a four by four would be, right? No. Okay, so. Here we go. Mmm. A little messy. It's really messy, huh? Now. It's still all over oh your God. beard. I always say that every time I eat a hamburger, I must really, really get into my hamburger. No, not everybody has a rug growing under their lips. That's, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I will say, you know, being like a regional chain, now sometimes it's, it's you, you might get a burger, it might be good, you might get a burger, it might be, yeah, okay. That is a really good burger. So, it's one of those things where they have locations all over the place, and they're even expanding farther. So if you try it, don't like it, leave it on the road. Maybe uh, it'll be good there. You know, let me try it. One more bite, just to make sure. Mm. Oh my god! Do I get Dripping all over the place. Too? Well, <laughs> after I try out this. That's a good French fry. That has so much stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, it's super juicy. Mm. How come yours wasn't so juicy? I don't have hair growing on okay. my face. Okay, fair enough. Mm. 
I love all the pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. They're fresh, they taste fresh. Mm. So it gives it lots of texture. You know, probably kind of silly. It's like, Amy, it's just a hamburger. It's not just a hamburger. I mean, like regional favorite hamburgers would be, we tried Rotterburger. Blake's. Um, Blake's Ladder Burger, um, Burgerville. This is this is holding its own in that list, I think, yeah, pretty I think well so. this year. Yeah. So what did we think of In and Out today? We loved it. I mean, everything's fresh to order, and um, the service was really good. In fact, I'm going to do a shout out to Jacob because he was the dining room attendant today, and he was extremely attentive and um, really friendly. So thank you so much for taking care of us. Um, in and Out everywhere in California, plus you can find it in places like Texas, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, Oregon, Oregon and I, it's ever expanding. Texas. I said Texas. Did okay. I say Texas? I might. <laughs> anyway, uh, we really enjoyed our meal today and uh, we'll, we'll likely stop at In-N-Out again on the road. One thing I do want to say is like we didn't have a line at all. Like we came in at four, it was just like I walked right up to the counter. That's the first time that has ever happened to me at any in and out It's usually extremely busy, but they work fast. Like, you don't have to usually have to wait very long for your order to come up. So, anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell so we can notify you when we have new content come out. And, of course, leave a comment. Say hi. Uh, ask us questions. Uh, we love to hear from all of you. We also encourage you to stop at your local food bank or food shelter and um, provide some donations, especially this time of year, getting closer and closer to the holidays. They are always in need of extra things. Um, it's just a great way to help your community out. So until we dine together again, stay classy.